to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and uh, as you can see, I'm at my room again. Um, not in the studio or anything like that, so um, I decided to do a solo video because <laughs> honestly, uh, I was thinking of doing it yes, uh, for tomorrow when I go to see, uh, which will be today because I'm releasing this tomorrow. Um, I was going to go see my buddy Paul, and we were going to do some stuff tomorrow. We've got to do Criterion Watch stuff. We have to do any Film Cafe stuff. So I was thinking, oh, okay, I could do a Blu-ray Hunter um, thing with uh, my pickups and everything with them. And then I started thinking, Paul does not like any of these movies and stuff. So he'd have really no interest. And I don't even think he'd... There might be like one or two titles he would be okay with talking about. And I don't even think he's seen anything but maybe one of them. So, um, I know he's probably seen a couple of the ones I got from the, uh, Dollar General. Um, but anyway, uh, so last solo video that I did, uh, we talked about, uh, the Dollar General pickups that I did. And, uh, thanks, uh, thank you, uh, Down to Movie for giving me a shout out on your, uh, Dollar General, um, haul, and he had some awesome pickups, but, um, so as I said, I think in the last one that I was going to go grab a couple more and see if the, uh, if it worked at that, uh, store and it did. So I grabbed four more. I, I felt like I should have grabbed a couple more than that, but I grabbed technically five more because one's a double set. So if we're going to do that, then we're going to go into my Black Friday haul and then I'm going to show you guys, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the, the big stuff that I got, you know, so, um, for Black Friday. So anyway, uh, hold on one second. Just got randomly thirsty. All right. So let's see if these are going to be an alpha. Let me put in alphabetical order. It'll be last. I guess this will be first. Uh, the double features first, which is. Cyrus and My Cousin Vinny. Um, I really got this for My Cousin Vinny, but I've heard um, Cyrus is pretty funny. So kind of looking forward to that. And I was like, why is this double build? But it's a, I guess it's a Marissa Tomei double feature. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I like John C. Riley and Jonah Hill. So I'm looking forward to checking out Cyrus at some point. All right, I have not opened up any of the other ones of these. I, all of these will still say $4.95. So I got these for the uh, Dollar General um, haul, and then right after I came back home, apparently the glitch got fixed that day. So uh, apparently now it's buy one, get one free like it's supposed to be. Um, so I think that the glitch is fixed, and uh, we're never going to have that pro you know that thing again. I'm hoping that when they do it next year that the glitch is back. Um, so anyway, here we go. Uh, also got Dark Man. Don't wanna. There we go. Um, the light is there, so Dark Dark Man. Um, it has no special features, and neither does the Cyrus slash Mike doesn't have any. I don't think that has um, except perfect picture and and purest digital sound available. I I love this movie. It is corny and goofy and silly and fun. Love it. Uh, then I also got Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, that is a classic. It is uh, Robin Williams. If you have never seen Mrs. Doubtfire, I don't know what's wrong with you. You should go see it because it's really, really funny. Um, but it has a lot of special features like cutting room, deleted scenes, extended alternate scenes, um, the production office, like showing how it got made, animation studio, um, Makeup department, stage A, publicity department, where it did all the trailers. I mean, that thing is pretty cool. So then, the last one I got from the Dollar General Hall is Say Anything, which does have commentary by Cameron Crowe, John, uh, John Cusack, and Ion Sky. I think a lot of these uh, special features are from the DVD. Um, I had this on DVD a while back. I think it got scratched really bad. So I'm I'm anxious to to have this again. I'm a Cameron Crowe nut. If I like, I talked in the last uh, movie about how I got We Bought a Zoo. Um, I still need um, Almost Famous on Blu-ray and Jerry Maguire, and eventually gonna get them. 
Almost Famous is by far one of my favorite movies. Um, I love that movie to death. And so I haven't watched it in years, and I'd love to revisit that at some point. So anyway, um, so that was my dollar twenty four haul. And uh, so this next thing, I'm going to have to show you a really cool uh really cool thing I got. So on Black Friday, um, well, Thanksgiving, um, I had heard that they had a $130 Toshiba um, 4K TV. And before then, uh, before I even looked up the deals, um, I had just got this thought in my head of like, I really want a 4K television and I want a 4K player and I, I want 4K movies. And, um, so I started to kind of play around uh, with that idea, and I ended up spending a little bit more because the $130 one was sold out before I got there. I had to work, so unfortunately I couldn't get anybody to go wait in line and, and buy it for me or whatever. Um, but I ended up, um, you know, doing that, and so I got um, this instead. It's a $250 insignia you can kind of you can see me in there that's pretty neat um let me try to not do that so that's that's what's been holding up the camera so there you go it's pretty cool and it's right next to my computer um and if you look at that i mean the fact that you can actually see them and you can see the light right there don't look into the light, Carol Ann. Um, here we go. That's pretty awesome. That's my desk and everything. This is what I've been doing my scripts on, but this is also where I've been watching my movies. And um, if you know me earlier, I had a Roku TV right there. And now I have a 43-inch. I had a 32-inch Roku TV, and now I have a 34-inch or 43-inch. 43 inch uh, awesome t uh, TV right there HD HDR um, 4k uh, UHD um, so there you go and my regular blu-ray player I'm gonna talk to you guys in a second let me put you guys back up on here hopefully it doesn't really screw up or anything uh, okay uh, there we go perfect all right, so there you go. So I got that, and that was the biggest deal of uh, Black Friday. I never bought a TV before. Like, I don't think I've ever bought like a, a big TV. I think most of the TVs I've ever gotten are like gifts and stuff. So the fact that I went out and had my own money and and bought this was pretty cool. But uh, so before I got it, I got it actually on Black Friday. But the day, I guess. Thursday, which is Brown Thursday or whatever, I ended up getting a bunch of 4Ks because I wanted, I wanted to hopefully come back and see if the the Toshiba was there again, and it wasn't for sure. It was definitely all sold out. So I was all right, fine. Um, so I ended up um, getting the uh, the other one, the Insignia. It's an Insignia. Um, I don't think it has a name specifically for it. Uh, Insignia 4K UHD TV. So I, I got some movies, and um, so I'm going to show you the ones I got on. I got some on Friday, uh, on Thursday, Friday, and then one today. So um, I got four on, uh, four to start with, which was pretty cool. So the first four that I got was Avengers Infinity War, which I think is pretty cool. That cover is pretty neat. Um, now, if you know me, I'm not a huge slipcover fan um, when I did Blu-rays. But I've decided, I think for my 4Ks, because when I was originally doing uh, getting the, the, the Blu-rays, I was just like, take these off. Uh, I don't really want them. They kind of just, to me, they just take time to, to open and, and all that stuff. But I have decided... I'm going to uh, to keep them or keep any of the ones I have 
Um, it'd be nice because there's some that don't have them. It'd be nice to get them, but I'm not paying. I'm not paying for slip covers. I think that's just silly. Um, so the other one I got was Deadpool two. Um, the super duper cut. So that's pretty cool. Um, the the special features on here are pretty cool. Like they have the audio commentary by the directors and. Um, I guess the writers, maybe? Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then, uh, the special features for Deadpool 2. It's like a gag reel commentary by Ryan Reynolds and, and the director and the writers. So I think that's pretty neat. It also has the, like, theatrical and the extended cut. That's why it's called the Super Duper Cut. I'd like to check out the extended because I saw it in the theater. So checking out the extended would be pretty neat. Then I got this. I love this movie to death. Um, and I was so excited because I didn't think Best Buy was going to have it on 4K. Um, because on their website, they said they didn't, uh, or they, they, it wasn't available. And I guess it was only available for their Black Friday, which they're still doing, by the way. And so Monday is the last, like literally the last day of it. So I'm going to go down to Newport News because I'm already going there. Um... Monday for a dentist appointment so I'm going there before I go to the dentist appointment I'm actually going to go to Best Buy and see if I can uh, get get one more title uh, to make it eight because right now I only have seven and then I'm, I'm my plan is to have like 24 K's by the end of the year um, if I can and um, and a player and and stuff like that so you know here we go is uh, Ready Player One. It's the movie I, I'm like ex super love this movie. Um, wow, there's uh, 90 minutes of bonus features and Easter eggs and the 80s nostalgia and how they achieved the impossible, plus more. So I, I haven't really dived into this yet. Um, it, you know, it it was amazing movie. Um, I saw it on Blu-ray. I've rented it from. Um, I rented it from, uh, Breadbox and th this year, and I thought it was just amazing. It just blew me away. And I was like, all right, well, if this movie, like, blew me away that badly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, uh, excited to one day own it. And so the beauty of these things, um, is that it comes, usually comes with the, uh, the movie, the 4K movie, as well as the Blu-ray and a digital copy. So the Blu-ray comes with it. So I don't have any of these movies on Blu-ray. So I made sure to grab ones that I, I did not have on Blu-ray. Speaking of which, I didn't have this myself in my collection. Terminator 2. I think my dad has this movie. But like, if I remember correctly, it's a pain in the ass. Because it would you would have to type in all these different codes and stuff. like Or not codes, but like... It, it treated like it was a computer or something. So somehow or another it got really confusing and everything to try to even watch it and then if you're not connected to the internet or something or don't have a connect you know it's just a pain in the butt so um when i got this i tested it out and it doesn't do that for this particular blu-ray release and um it's got like a ton of the it's got like a 55 minute documentary um it's also got like commentaries two feature commentaries a bunch of making of and not only that, but it has the movie plus, like, the extended cut. And, um, I honestly didn't like the extended cut, if I remember correctly. So it's Terminator 2, I, if you can tell from the thing. Um, yeah, Terminator 2. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't like some of the extended cut. There was some stuff that, like, I thought wasn't needed that I understand why they cut it. And I didn't need to see it. Um, there was this one brutal scene. I'm a very big dog lover. So if you know what scene I'm talking about, there's a scene with Robert Patrick is, uh, you know, basically um, as the liquid metal, you know, he can morph into whoever he wants. He morphed into um, uh, John Connor's, what is it? Uh, John Connor's uh adopted mother or whatever i think is adopted or or stepmother or something not step you know, adopted mother 
Um, and, uh, so he calls her up to see if she's, like, you know, uh, available or whatever. And, uh, she says something to him and she's acting weird and the dog was barking and stuff like that. So, and the dog was barking in the background. Um, Terminator asks, uh, or says in the voice of the, um, of, of, of John Con uh, Connor, um, uh, Wolfie, it sounds like Wolfie is, as uh, sounds like Wolfie's upset or something like that. And he's like, she's like, Wolfie's just fine. Wolfie's just fine. The dog's name was Max. So, you, there's a scene where you see him, like, kill the, the husband, um, as the, as the mom, then morphs back into himself, then go, in this extended cut, he goes and kills the dog. You hear the dog whimper and die, and then you, uh, you don't actually physically see it, but still, like, it was, you know, it was unneeded, and then, uh, he pulls off the thing to see it say Max, so he knew he was being, you know, well, we, we didn't need that, like, it literally cuts perfectly, because, like, like, who, why do we need to know that he knew that, you know what I mean, like, it just, it made no sense, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't ruin the plot, you know, um, or whatever. So it was honestly, I, I, I don't watch the extended cut if I, if I, if I can try not to, because it's just that, that scene alone, I remember, I was actually watching it and I got to that about that scene. I was like, ah, I can't, I can't do it. It's one of those things. I'm very, very big on animals. I love animals. So there you go. Terminator 2 on 4K. Um, it looks beautiful on the Blu-ray on my 4K TV. So I'm excited to see what the 4K will look like when we get my player and everything, when I get my player. All right, so these next two I got actually on Friday, 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 um, cause that, I guess I got that technically on Friday cause I got those at midnight. But, um, these are like Friday at like seven o'clock. I went out on my break to Target and I was like, I want to get two more movies. So I was like, what am I going to get? Um, and these both cost about $9. And, um, let's see. Terminator 2 I got at um, Best Buy for 8 bucks. Ready Player 1 was 15 All the rest were 15 And this one was at Target for 15 When I think it was less at um, Best Buy. Was it? Probably not on 4K. I think it was about the same. It was probably about 15. So they're all about 15. Um, so. Hacksaw Ridge. Which I have not seen yet. And I. You know. I'm kind of excited to see it at some point. How, how long is it? Um, 139 minutes. Yeah. So it's, it's. I figured it's a longer movie. Um. Best war film since Saving Private Ryan. That's a that's a pretty it's a pretty tall order. I'll, I'll definitely check it out and, and see if I like it or not. And then the Hitman's Bodyguard with Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson and Gary Oldman and Selma Hayek. I mean, that's just a cast right there. Um, I'm really excited about this. I've not seen this either, and that's the main reason I bought these two is because I'd seen all the other ones and I hadn't seen these two and I've heard that these look great on um, 4K, so excited. And then, you know, of course it's got uh, commentary. It does it, yeah, director's commentary. And who is the director of this one? Probably somebody I don't know. Patrick Hughes. Sounds like somebody I might know who they are, but I'm not sure. All right, so last, but definitely not Maybe at least. I don't know. It depends on your point of view. It did get 15% on Rotten Tomatoes, so we'll see. Is The Mummy. The Tom Cruise Mummy. Um, got this for $10. I thought that was a good deal. Um, I don't know if it's $10 just because of Black Friday or if it's just $10, period. Um, but um, it's got over an hour of um, behind-the-scenes action. Like I said, uh, Best Buy is still having their Black Friday sales till Tuesday. Like, Monday is their last day. Tuesday, they 
you know, they're packed up. So, uh, if I were you, and I'm having this on Sunday, go out to Best Buy, take, in, take part of their deals if they still have stuff left over. I know when I went over to their $15 section, there wasn't that many movies still left. So, I'm going to go over to the Newport News one, and I'll see if... What I'm really looking for uh, is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, I should have gotten that and instead, or uh, I should have gotten that instead of Deadpool 2. Um, and I could have gotten Deadpool 2, you know, yesterday, but whatever. You know, there's there's these things you live and you learn and you kind of go through it. But the mummy, um, the cool thing about it is it's got like the feature commentary and um, a ton of different stuff. So, uh, just like earlier, I, I bought, was it, I bought a Blu-ray with, uh, that Tom Cruise was in, and Tom Cruise was on the commentary, so I'm wondering if he's going to be on the commentary in this one. I'd be, they probably, to be honest, they, um, probably would have, uh, said something. But, uh, I'm sure they, they got at least, um, yeah, they got a Cruz and Kurtzman conversation. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, so I'm excited to see this. Um, so I, I'm going to, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to review it. Um, and, uh, give you guys my thoughts since I've never seen it before. And I'm excited to see it. I'm going to see it on Blu-ray. Then I'm going to see it on 4K later and see if I can kind of tell the difference or anything. Um. Because from what I've understood that some people just can't tell the difference between 4K and regular Blu-ray or something. So, um, I've seen some stuff on 4K and it, it looks beautiful, you know, but I'm not sure if, if it will look that beautiful with like just Blu-ray. So, um, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys my, my prediction for, for the mummy. So... I predict that I'm going to think it's okay. It's 15% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is ridiculous. I think people... I mean, it's a popcorn bubblegum crap movie. Like, it's... The problem I have with it was I thought that... Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde should have been probably the first movie to go out. Because they haven't done so many remakes of it in, like, a while. Um... And they have Jekyll and Hyde in this one. However, um, Tom Cruise and, and The Mummy, it, from what I've understood, it's kind of very much like the uh, Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. And uh, they tried to make it kind of funny and action-y and, you know, and everything. And, and in Tom Cruise and Brendan Fraser are completely different people. Like, they're just, you, you know, um, so I, I'm excited to see it. Um, I think it's going to be just fun, you know, like, it's not going to be something I'm going to go, oh my god, this was the most amazing movie I've ever seen. This is just going to be something I'm going to go, yeah, I saw it, you know, well, am I happy to own it on 4K? Probably, because I guarantee you it's going to look beautiful, and it's well worth it being in my collection. Like, when I... I was actually thinking about it tonight. I was like, I, I kind of want to know if they have the mummy. So I looked it up and then I saw that it was for 10 bucks. I was like, that's that's a good deal. I better better jump on that. I mean, I don't know if it's going to go up or down uh, at some point. But uh, probably go down eventually because it didn't do very well in the box office. Um, and that was a bummer because like that movie was supposed to set up for all these other movies... And it was going to be like the Universal Monsters, like Universe, and stuff like that. I just, I think they picked the wrong one. Like I said, if they had done Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, or The Invisible Man, or all these other ones, I think Johnny Depp was going to play The Invisible Man. Um, which would totally make sense, because they only have to pay him for half the movie. Um, <laughs> he's only going to be in it for half the movie. Um, it, you know, him walking around with, um... You know, uh, <laughs> with Invisible would be pretty funny. But, you know, they should have done one of those. 
Frankenstein and Dracula have been done so many times, um, even recently, that it just, it would have been kind of boring if they had done one of those guys. But they did the mummy, probably because the original, like the, uh, not the original, the, the Brendan Fraser mummy did so well, you know, in the box office that they just thought redoing the mummy just with Tom Cruise would do, would do even better. But, um, I guess we'll see what my thoughts are. I, I just, I think I'm just going to think it's okay. It's not anything like people have to, I mean, you don't have to run and get it on, on, on 4K, I don't think. I did because, A, I've not seen it, and I kind of want to really badly. And for 10 bucks, it's almost like renting the movie or seeing it in the theater. Um, because that's how much a ticket is at the theater. Uh, and sometimes that's how much a freaking ticket is to rent these things these days. Like, 7 bucks to rent or something. It's ridiculous. Um, most of the time it's, um... You know, but uh, it's just four four times sharper than HD, so I guess we'll see what you know my thoughts are after I, I watch it and then I I rewatch it um, again. So anyway, here's the mummy. Um, I'm totally excited to dive into that. It's gonna be my next thing tonight after this is done and I start editing and everything. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked my pickups, let me know. The comments below if you didn't like my pickups let me know in the comments below if you watch this thing all the way to the end i love you wow that was i don't i ramble a lot so it's almost 30 minutes long this uh this video so it's gonna be close to 30 minutes which is fine uh once again great shout out to down to movie um check his uh just type in down to movie on youtube check his channel out um he does uh movie uh pickups and 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 stuff as well i don't think he really does any reviews um him and cinema sickness do not like reviews um i love to watch reviews um i have a lot of particular ones i go to to listen to their uh reviews so i'm, I'm kind of down to that but um unfortunately some people just don't like it i like it so i'll probably be doing some reviews um, and, uh, especially now that I've got a 4K, um, thing, and I'm, and I'm gonna eventually get the player, the, the plan is to get the player by the end of the year, so that, um, basically I, I rock 2019 with, with a cool, you know, setup. Um, I don't have Dolby Atmos or anything like that yet, um, and I'm not gonna get that till, like, much later, and, like, when I get, when I get out of this house, um, and in my own like a little place, I'll probably uh, spend some extra money on that because, um, you know, having a Dolby Atmos sound system would be great, uh, but it is not needed for right now. I'm happy with this, the, the sound on my television and everything, and I'm sure I would get a, a different feel, like in the like in a in a bigger uh, place. So. All right, well, that's it, I guess. Um, thank you guys for checking this out. Give me a like. Um, tell me what you guys think. Also, subscribe to, um, well, Down to Movie, uh, Cinema Sickness, uh, PMAC Movies. He's he's an interesting guy. Uh, there's Blue uh, Blu-ray Dan. There's a ton of awesome, awesome people. I think I have on, on my uh, channel, I have a uh, list of people. So check those out. Also, check out um, Indie Film Cafe, SickFlickProductions.com, and uh, Criterion Watch. Good lord, that's a lot of shit to just talk about. But, uh, yep, yeah, those are those are the things that um, you can check out and tell me what you guys think. Because, honestly, I would love uh, some feedback. Um, just got I mean, I'm rambling, so I know that. Don't don't be like, oh, man, you ramble too much. Because, yeah, I ramble. And I'm cool with that. I will, uh, you know. But, uh, excited to check this out. So I'm excited to check this out. Hope, uh, sorry, the uh, computer said it was low battery, so I'm going to have to charge up my phone in a second. I'm excited to check this out and uh, give you guys my review.
All right, it's going to be over three, uh, 30 minutes. So thank you guys for checking out. Bye.